Okay, class. Um, in this video, I'm gonna give you a demonstration of uh, uh, how parametric equation can be used in solid modeling. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna use an example taken from a textbook. Now here's a parametric equation, and the parametric equation, the end results, the curve will look like this. So let's do a, a, a quick check of this parametric equation. So this is x of t y of t and z of t are very similar to a helical curve but uh, not quite the same but uh, you see uh, if you take a simple calculation of x squared plus y squared and you will see that because you have cosine t sine t here essentially you will end up with x squared plus y squared equal to 4 plus sine 20 t squared right now if you don't have this term Okay, sine 20t, then you end up with a um, radius okay, of, uh, of a 2, okay, a circle of radius 2, a 4. Uh, because of the sine 20t, the presence of this guy here, so if uh, you look at it from the top, the top view of this, uh, this curve, and it basically it's not a circle, but it's a circle whose boundary has a variation according to a sine 20t, right? So you have a 4 and the radius 4, but then there's variations along this radius here. Now what about that direction? In that direction, the, the variation changes according to cosine 20t. And basically it's not going, it's going, basically it's going up and down according to cosine 20t while uh, you're going along this circle in x, y direction. Okay, so that's how it looks like how this is coming from. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here to uh, um, as a guideline for uh, solid modeling here. Let's go back to, to uh, SolidWorks. Okay, so it's just to create new parts. And that's what I need. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to do a sketch first, uh, but we're going to do a, a 3D sketch. Okay, 3D sketch. So you click that, and you're on the 3D sketch now. And now um, I'm going to go to here, Tools, okay, Sketch Entity, and uh, Equation Dreaming Curves. So uh, because we're on the 3D sketch, so what we have here is a 3D parametric equation option for us to enter. So x, y, t is basically what we need to uh, grab from here, okay. So let's put in this x over t, which is four plus sine okay, twenty over t, okay, bracket multiplied by cosine t. So that's x of t. That's x of t. Yep. And we need to put in for y of t. Okay. So just copy paste and change this cosine to sine. And uh, z of t, which is 20 t, a cosine that. T1, t2 refer to uh, the start and end for the value of t. So let's say we want to start the t with 0. Okay? Uh, you look at the parametric curve. When t varies between zero, from 0 to 2 pi, the, the parametric curve, okay, the parametric curve here, Finish one circle. Can you finish one round? Um, right. So let me see. I see. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take half of that parametric curve. Okay. So I'm going to give it a pi. Now you got to be careful here. Is you can't put in an arbitrary number here. So for example, you kind of put in two, three pi here because if you put in three pi, you will have you will see a, an error message from SolidWorks saying uh, the curve is intersecting itself. Okay, so uh, the number here has to be reasonable. Okay, so check mark. Okay, so now we have our parametric curve. Okay, so press F um, to zoom in. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate, uh, use this guy uh, for the first thing here is I'm going to use a, a sweep. Okay, I'm going to use a sweep uh, along this curve here. Okay, so. What I'm going to sweep is I'm going to sweep 
a circle along this one here to generate a, uh, something like a spring. Okay. Now let's do this. So we are going to uh, insert a uh, plane. So reference, we're going to use a new plane here. Now I'm going to put this plane to go through this point. And also I'm going to let this plane to uh, be perpendicular to this um, the parametric curve. Okay, so just click on this point, click on the curve. Uh, make sure you have this proper constraint in here, and it's fully defined. And yes, so the plane is generated. It's a very big plane, so you can shrink the plane a little bit. We don't need that big plane there. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a circle okay, inside this plane. Now this plane is already selected, so just click on circle and you are automatically within this plane out here. Okay. Uh, you can also just perpendicular, okay, so let's give you a, a flat view here. Okay. So let's say I'm going to use 0 0.4 as a radius. Okay. Then check mark, okay. so the circle is created. Okay. And then we are going to do a sweep. Okay. So here is the feature we're going to sweep, and here is the curve we're going to use for the sweeping. Okay. So and then check mark okay. here. So that's the spring uh, which is generated using the parametric curve, okay, and of course some other features. Okay. So that's one example. Okay. So I'm going to delete what I have here and start from scratch. Okay, and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of different things right here. So I'm going to take this plane here. Um, okay. So here's I'm going gonna, I'm to create a, a sphere okay, or a ball. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to do a pattern use the ball. Okay, so we are going to use this plane to create a sketch. I'm going to use this, this plane to create a sketch. We're going to create a uh, three point we're gonna center to point arc. Okay. So I guess we're gonna perpendicular this point here. So I'm gonna of course in the center the center of the arc is here. Okay, so we're gonna create this click on the center okay, and click anywhere here and then create this arc. Okay. So there that's the arc. So I'm gonna use uh, the same radius 0.4 okay, check mark. Okay, so this arc is created and then we're going to create the center line okay there okay exit this sketch now we are going to create that sphere so we're going to create this uh, okay this no okay one second yeah. so there and actually give us already okay so 360 degrees there okay so that's a few sphere here. And the last, create a here. Click on the linear pattern here. So select this curve driven pattern. Okay. So what do we uh, do? Okay, so pattern direction. Pattern direction, we're gonna select this curve here. Okay. And here click up equal spacing. And this is the number of instance. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna choose 15 instance okay. of this guy. And just leave all the other options untouched. Now we're not going to use feature to pattern. We're actually going to use this bodies to pattern. Okay. So what body? And this guy. Okay. This guy. Yeah. Now I think that should be okay now. And just click the check mark. Okay. There you go. So you have all the spheres patterned along the uh, parametric curve. So that's uh, like, like a demonstration of the molecules or uh, something like that. And you know, if you are artistic enough, you can definitely uh, create uh, maybe a bracelet, okay, and just for fun, okay. So anyway, uh, this gives you a sort of a, a glimpse of uh, how parametric cushion can be used in solid modeling, okay. Uh, you can create much 
complicated and much better shape okay uh, with uh, the help of a parametric equation okay let me know if you have any questions thank you